Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Mutant Year Zero. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this tabletop RPG where you play as mutated humans who are trying to survive the post-apocalypse alongside their settlement, the Ark, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about talents and mutations. Talents can affect how you use skills or how you recover from trauma or even let you do things that are quite simply impossible to others. You can choose one talent for your player character at the start of the game. Your role decides which talents you can choose from. You can learn new talents by earning experience points. You can either choose talents from your three available talents according to your role or choose from a general talents list. As a general rule, you can only choose each talent once, but there are some exceptions. Let's talk about some of these talents. Under the Enforcer's talents we have things such as Barge Through. You can move using strength instead of agility. Under the Gearhead's talents we have Inventor. You get a plus two modification when you use Jury Rig to create a new device, but not when you repair something. And remember, these are just some of the talents available for each role. Under Stalker talents we have things such as Monster Hunter. You get a plus two modification when you scout a beast of any kind. Under the fixer's talents we have things such as Wheeler Dealer. When you use the make a deal skill to make small business on the side, you earn twice as much of the commodity you choose. Under dog handlers we have Fight Dog. You have trained your dog to be a deadly little monster. You get a plus two modification when you use the dog to fight. If the dog dies, you keep the talent for your next mutt. Under the Chronicler's talents we have things such as Bone Saw. You have learned the art of sawing bones and sewing skin, all in the interest of saving lives, of course. You get a plus two modification when you roll to heal a critical injury, but not when tending to someone who is broken by trauma. Under the boss's talents we have things such as Commander. You get a plus two modification when you order your gang to fight for you. You don't get the modification in any other situations, nor for racketeering. Under the grunts list we have things such as Resilient. You get a plus two modification to shake it off, but only when suffering damage and for no other kinds of trauma. When it comes to general talents, they are things such as Assassin. When you shoot someone and hit, the target suffers one extra point of damage, but only if you fire at near range or at arm's length. There are other talents such as Cool Head. You can move with wits instead of agility. And there are so many others. You have Fast Draw, Gadgeteer, Pack Mule, Personal Arithmetic, Sharpshooter, Therapist, Weapon Specialist, etc. Now let's talk about mutations. Your mutations are your trump cards, superhuman and unstoppable powers wired into your very DNA. No one in the Ark, except maybe the Elder, knows their origin. You get one mutation at the start of the game, and you can develop more later, during play. You don't get to choose your mutations, and your body will probably suffer for the excruciatingly painful changes upon your body. When you activate a mutation, no one can stop you and you never risk failure. Most mutations have several effects. You must choose which one of them you want to use. To activate your mutation, you need a mutation point, or more than one, to increase the effect. At the beginning of every game session, you get a number of mutation points equal to the number of mutations you have. You can win more mutation points by pushing a dice roll. You can save mutation points from one session to the next. And you can never have more than 10 mutation points. In a conflict, activating a mutation usually counts as an action. This is not true for reactive and enhancing effects. Let's talk about misfire. That you can't fail when using a mutation doesn't mean it's without risk. Roll one basic die for each mutation point you use to activate the mutation. If you roll one or more once, the mutation misfires. It has its desired effect, but something else happens too. Perhaps your mutant powers run amok and you suffer one point of permanent trauma. 
you choose which attribute is affected. At the same time, you develop a new mutation. Or perhaps the mutation gets supercharged. You get back the mutation points you just spent. And you can immediately, in the same turn, activate the same mutation again against the same target or another. When it comes to permanent trauma, it is truly permanent. Your attribute score is permanently reduced by one step. This means your body and mind will slowly degenerate as you get more and more mutated. This is what it means to be a mutant. When you manifest a new mutation, just draw one new mutation card or roll once on the mutations table. You can never have more than four mutations. You have more details concerning the reactive effects, enhancing effects, which are pretty easy to understand. Reactive means that you can use this at any moment. And enhancing effects, you activate an enhancing effect at the same time as you perform an action or a maneuver to enhance it. You also have details on non-player characters and mutations, how the game master spends mutation points or accumulates them. Now let's talk about some of these mutations. We have acid spit. Glands in your mouth generate a potent acid. Perhaps you want to destroy an object with this acid or attack your enemies. You also have amphibian. Your body has inherited traits from fishes and reptiles, making you equally at home underwater as on land. There is also forearmed. You have four arms rather than two. Perhaps you want to defend yourself against several close combat attacks in the same turn. Or maybe you want to climb with ease. Then you have the human plant mutation. Your body has inherited traits from the plant world. Your body is covered in sharp thorns and bark-like skin that you can use in combat. And there are many other mutations such as insect wings, pyrokinesis, telepathy, sonar, reptile, all quite useful and many of them quite monstrous. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about conflict and trauma. I like how the talents further specialize your character. It truly really feels as if you play a vital role within the arc, within this settlement, and you are taking these abilities, these specialized perks, into the zone for the benefit of your group and the entirety of the arc. When it comes to the mutations, these are truly the most powerful abilities or powers, effects that you can use, but they come at a price. You require those mutation points, and your body will suffer as it undergoes those strange changes, transformations, slowly withering and dying away in exchange for those astonishing powers. Thank you for watching this part of the review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you. And see you later.